प्लीज क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब बटन एंड क्लिक ऑन बेल आइकन फॉर मोर इंटरेस्टिंग अपडेट्स ऑन सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइनिंग ऑफ जी प्लेस वन नॉर्थ फेसिंग हाउस बाय यूजिंग स्टार्ट प्रो वी आई टे सॉफ्टवेयर सो इनिशियली आई विल शो यू द मॉडल फॉर दट रेस्पेक्टेड प्लान ऑफ नॉर्थ फेसिंग जी प्लेस वन बिल्डिंग सो गो टू दिस पी डी एफ सो दिस इज माई ग्राउंड फ्लोर प्लान एंड दिस इज माई फर्स्ट फ्लोर प्लान आई वॉज ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन कंप्लीट डिटेल्स अबाउट दिस रेस्पेक्टेड प्लान इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो आई विल प्रोवाइड यू दट वीडियो लिंक इन एब कॉपिंग यू कैन चेक दट वीडियो एंड यू कैन डाउनलोड दिस रेस्पेक्टेड प्लान फ्रॉम द डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑल्सो सो इनिशियली वी नीड टू अज्यूम द सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द कॉलम्स फॉर दिस रेस्पेक्टेड हाउस प्लान सो फॉर दिस रेस्पेक्टेड जी प्लस वन बिल्डिंग इनिशियली आई विल अज्यूम द सेंटर टू सेंटर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द फर्स्ट कॉलम टू सेकंड कॉलम इज थ्री मीटर एंड सेकंड कॉलम टू थर्ड कॉलम इज फाइव मीटर एंड थर्ड column to fourth column is 5 meter in horizontal direction in vertical direction it is consisting of 4 meter for the first column to second column and it will be consisting of 5 meter for this respected second column to third column okay so i will design this uh, north facing house by using start pro vi tai software so click on start pro software so click on new project select spacing option let us consider the structure name just i am taking it as some zzz so save your file location as per your format so and select the in length units will be in meter as well as four units will be in kilonewton click on next button click on finish button now the software will be open here like this so initially we need to model the uh, respected g plus 1 building so initially i will model the g plus 1 building without using uh, structure wizard option so firstly i will select 0 0 point here so click on escape option so after that we have to click on hide snap node grid so initially we need to select this respected node cursor just i'm selecting this respected node click on copy option again click on paste nodes option initially we need to copy this respected node which is at a distance of 3 meter so click on okay so after that again we have to select the second node which is related to the 3 meter distance again we have to copy click on paste nodes we need to copy this respected nodes again to 5 meter distance in horizontal position now i am selecting again third node click on copy click on paste nodes again we have to paste this respected node which is at a distance of 5 meter again click on okay option so after that we have to select all these respected four nodes we need to copy this respected nodes in z direction distance so initially we will consider the copy option so click on paste nodes option which is at a distance of 4 meter in z direction so after that again in the same way we have to select the top view in the same way just i am selecting the bottom node points so click on uh, copy option click on paste nodes option again we have to paste this respected nodes in 5 meter distance So after creating these respected nodes, we need to create the uh, columns for this respected section. So initially, I will assume the uh, plinth beam level for this respected section. So after that, we will take the remaining stories. So initially, we need to go to copy option here. Click on paste nodes option. So I am considering this respected plinth level, which is consisting of 2.5 meter from the ground. So let us consider the distance is 2.5. Click on OK. So after that, we have to select the front view. and we have to select all the node points for this respected section so click on geometry here again we have to connect the beams along x direction so it will connect 18 number of beams again go to geometry here click on connect uh, beams along uh, y axis here so it will create 12 number of beams so again go to geometry in the same way we have to connect the beams along z axis so it will connect your respected beams like this so after that we have to keep the structure in front of you now we have to select all the uh, beam sections at the base it can delete option click on s option so this is the plinth level for this respected building so after creating the plinth level we need to create the first story for this house okay so for that initially we need to keep the structure front view select all the beam sections at the base so go to copy option so click on paste beams this time considering the first story will be consisting of 3 meter height click on okay so it will create your respected points here like this so after that we have to select the front view select the node cursor option Next time, selecting all the node points at the plinth level and the first slab level. So we need to connect this respected node point with the help of the vertical column sections in y direction. So it will create 12 number of beams here like this. Okay. So after that, we have to create the staircases as well as cantilever slab for this respected portions. So initially, we need to keep the structure in front view. So we need to cut this respected option. Select to view option. Click on OK. Select the beam cursor. Just we have to cut this respected portion here like this. Okay. So after that, we need to create the cantilever slab for this respected top section. So for that, initially we need to select the node cursor. This time, selecting node points at the right hand side section. Click on copy option. So click on paste nodes, which is consisting of x direction distance of one meter here. Again, I am selecting the node points at the top. 
next i'm selecting this respected note points click on copy click on paste notes again we have to paste this respected notes with minus 1 distance so after that we have to create the cantilever uh, slab for this respected portion in this uh, north facing direction so for that initially we need to select the three note points so click on copy option so click on paste notes option which is at a distance of x direction of minus 2 here okay so after that we have to add the staircases for this respected section so for that initially we need to select the node points at this position and we have to select the node points at this respected position click on copy click on paste notes in x direction distance which is consisting of minus 1 so again we have to select the node points at this respected position in the same way we have to create the copy so click on paste notes again i am selecting x direction distance of minus 1 here so again we have to select this respected point in the same way next i am selecting this respected position point so after that we have to uh, create the copy for this respected section so click on copy again click on paste notes in x direction distance of minus 1 again okay so after that we have to select the node point at this respected position also so here i am selecting this node point click on copy click on paste notes in x direction distance of minus 1 okay so after that we have to select this center node points click on delete option click on s button now we have to connect this respected node points with the help of the column so select the first node point select the second node point select the third node point select the fourth node point go to geometry connect beams along y axis so it will connect your respected two columns here like this so after that we have to create the cantilever beams so select add beam command select the first point here select the second point in the same way we have to select the first point second point select the first point again we have to select the second point select the first point we have to select the second point in the same way we have to select the uh, first point second point first point second point in the same way we need to select the uh, cantilever beams for this respected building so after that we have to add the cantilever slab for this building so for that go to select uh, add four node plate select the first point second point third point fourth point in the same way we have to add the uh, slab section for the entire structure So after that click on host structure command here. Now we have to create the staircases for this respected portion. So for that initially select the front view. Go to cut section command. Select two view option. Click on OK. So here we have to cut this respected portion. Again select the top view. So in the same way we have to select the cut section command. Select two view option. Click on OK. So here we have to cut this respected section. So for that initially we need to select the two column sections here. So click on uh, insert a node which is at a midpoint click on ok so it will insert a node at midpoint like this so select the node cursor select this respected node click on copy click on paste nodes which is at a distance of 1 meter ok so after that we have to select the all three node points click on copy click on paste nodes in z direction distance of minus 1.2 here ok so after that we have to select the uh, slab section select the first point select second point select third point again select the fourth point okay now here we have to select the uh, add beam command select the first point here select the second point here okay so now here we have to connect this respected node point with the help of the remaining slab section so for that select first point select second point select third point select fourth point in the same way we have to select the first point second point third point fourth point okay so after that click on 3d view so click on uh, display whole structure command so click on 3d rendering view option so this is the 3d rendering view for this respected house so after creating the ground story we need to create the first story for this respected building so for that initially we need to select all the beam sections and column sections at this respected first story so go to transitional repeat in y direction number of steps are one each step will be consisting of three meter click on ok so it will create your remaining story like this so after that we have to select the front view again again select your respected uh, plate cursor this time selecting all the plates for this respected section so go to transitional repeat in y direction number of steps are one each step will be consisting of three meter here okay so click on 3d rendering view option so this is the 3d rendering view for this respected uh, building so after creating the 3d rendering view process we need to create the remaining column sections at this respected top position of the building so for that initially we need to select the front view so cut section command select to view click on ok so here we have to select this respected beams so here just i'm selecting the node cursor select the first node point second node point third node point fourth node point click on copy option click on paste nodes option in vertical direction distance of let us consider it as two meter okay so after that we have to select this respected node points 
at the top again you have to select the node points at the uh, second slab so click on geometry we need to collect along y axis so initially we need to connect along y axis so after that select the front view so select all the node points here again we have to go to geometry connect the beams along x axis again we have to select the geometry connect the beams along z axis so it will create all your respected column sections and beam sections like this so after modeling process is completed we need to apply the properties we go to general option property click on define option so initially i am selecting the column section which is consisting of 0.35 cross 0.35 is the depth as well as your width so click on add so again i am adding the beam section which is consisting of 0.35 cross 0.23 so click on add option so close option so after that we have to define the thickness so here i am adding the thickness will be consisting of 0.12 click on add close select this respected uh, beam sections we need to select beams parallel to x condition we need to select beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes so again we have to select the columns go to select option beams parallel to y condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes select the plate thickness by using assign to view option assign yes option so after that we have to see this respected model in rendering view process click on 3d rendering view so this is the 3d rendering view for this respected building so this is the north facing house it will be consisting of your respected beam size of 0.23 cross 0.35 and column section will be consisting of 0.35 cross 0.35 and slab thickness will be consisting of 0.12 mm okay so after that we have to apply the supports so go to general option select the supports click on create option add here select support to with the help of front view option we have to select all the node points at the base click on assign to selected nodes assign yes option so after that we have to apply the load cases for this respected building so for that initially we need to select the loads and definitions so initially we need to select the load case details so for this respected structure which is uh, related to north facing g place one house i am considering this respected building will be exist in zone 2 condition so in zone 2 condition uh, maximum the load cases will be comes under your respected property or dead loading condition live loading condition so the, that's why i am considering only the dead loading condition live loading condition for this respected structure okay so for that initially click on add option so select the dead load condition select the load case one as dl add button again i am selecting the live load condition select the load case two as ll add button so after that we have to add the load combination also so click on define load combination which is related to the 1.5 factor so select this two load cases so click on add option click on close option select the dead load here click on add so here we have to add the self weight for this respective structure so select the self weight by using assign to view assign yes so after that we have to select the live load here click on add option so here i am selecting the floor load which is related to the pressure of the plate is minus let us consider minus 2.5 which is acting at a distance of uh, first slab which is at a distance of 5.5 meter so here i am selecting last slab distance will be consisting of 8.5 meter click on add close so this is the live load for this respective structure and this is the self weight so after that we have to analyze this respective structure go to analysis and print add close go to analyze option run analysis save it okay so here we have to check for the zero errors for this respected building model so here my model is checking for the zero errors so here my model is observe with zero errors go to post processing mode click on done option apply your load cases click on okay so here we have to select the load combination so this is a deflection diagram for this respected building due to presence of load combination so this is a shear force diagram for this structure and this is the bending moment diagram for this respected structure okay due to presence of the load combination the bending moment diagram will be exist here like this select the plate cursor apply your stretch type as absolute pressure apply okay so this is the absolute pressure for this respected diagram okay so after that we have to design this respected structure so for that go to modeling click on design select concrete design so here we have to select the is456 code initially we need to select the parameters which is related to the compressed strength yield strength yield strength of shear reinforcement maximum main maximum secondary reinforcement click on okay so click on define option so for this respected structure just i am considering m20 grade concrete 20000 click on add button so again we have to select the fy main let us consider it as 415 grade 415300 click on add option again i am selecting yield strength also 415300 click on add option so after that we have to select the maximum main let us consider it as 16 mm bars add it maximum secondary let us consider it as 12 mm bars add it close option select the commands here select design beam command select design column command select design slab element command 
select take off comma add button close option so after that we have to assign this respected question marks select fc by using assign to view assign yes if i mean by using assign to view assign yes option again i'm selecting fi section assign to view assign yes option select maximum main assign to view assign yes option maximum secondary assign to view assign yes option select beam go to select option parallel to x condition again we have to select beams parallel to z condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes select design column go to select beams parallel to y condition click on assign to selected beams assign yes select design element command by using assign to view assign yes option so after that go to analysis and print add your no print close option go to analyze option run analysis save it so here we have to check for the zero errors for this respected model again so here my model is checking with zero errors it was observed with zero errors here so go to post processing mode again click on run action again again deselect the deflection diagram select the beam deselect the bending point diagram so select any one of the load combination so select any one of the beam for this respected model double click on it click on concrete design so this is the concrete design for this respected plinth beam section it will be consisting of two bars of 10 mm dia 320 center to center distance at the top reinforcement again at the bottom reinforcement it is consisting of two bars of 10 mm dia 30 center to center distance for the stirrup section it will be consisting of 20 bars of 8 mm dia 120 center to center distance so after that we have to select any one of the beam for this respected section just i'm selecting this beam click on concrete design so this is a concrete design it will be consisting of three bars of 10 mm dia at the top reinforcement section with uh, 320 center to center distance and bottom reinforcement is also consisting of two bars of 20 mm dia with 30 center to center distance okay so after that select any one of the column just i'm selecting this respected column position double click on it click on concrete design so this is a concrete design for this respected section it will be consisting of your respected uh, number of bars are four and which is consisting of 12 mm dia and ast percentage is 0 0.36 and ast required is 156 mm square for m20 grade concrete fe415 grade steel so after designing process completed we need to see the output file so click on start output file option here so click on the results here so click on the concrete design so it is consisting of each and individual calculation as well as each and individual part of your uh, g plus one building design north facing house okay so after designing process completed we need to design the foundation so select the foundation design click on include all load cases click on run start foundation the fixture supports of this respected g plus one building house will be directly imported to your respected start foundation software so these are the fixture supports we need to design the foundation for this fixture supports initially we need to select the load combinations click on generate load combinations and select the code as indian standard system click on generate load combinations for the service load combination click on generate load combinations for the ultimate load combinations so after that select the job setup here click on create job select the job name let us consider and isolated footing and we have to select the design code as per indian standard system and si and we have to select the load combinations as per your considerations this time selecting 101 102 201 202 203 include this click on create job so it will create your isolated footing job like this select the isolated footing job so click on cover and child type and this is the footing geometry sliding and overturning click on design click on this option so it will design the your respected isolated footing design as per is 456 2000 code select any one of the foundation so this is the foundation design and each and individual calculation sheet for this respected g plus one north facing house click on starting page geometry and details and drawing so it will be consisting of all details of the drawing files that will be helpful for the foundation section so this is a geo drawing this is the calculation sheet so this is a process analysis and designing of g plus one building north facing house by using stat pro v8i software so if you have any queries about this respected video please text me your questions in the below comment box i will try to give the answer for that respected questions thank you